What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Sean TV. You feel we back at it again with another video. Our boys over there at Custom Interior sent us a package, you feel me, for us to put some modifications on the Hellcat. And what they sent us today was these black and red seat covers. As y'all can see, it is some really good quality leather. And it's really gonna make, turn your interior to a whole different level. Especially if y'all have cloth seats. I know some people like to keep their seats protected or they had kids and they don't want the kids, you know, messing stuff up. So that's why we got these seat covers that they sent to us. I already got the driver's side done. I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all what it's looking like. Y'all see, it fits real good. There's no big gaps and stuff. Very good quality leather and it just made the interior look more sporty. So we're gonna go ahead and get into the install. I'm gonna show y'all how to do everything. Show y'all how to do the passenger seat, the back seat and stuff, and go ahead and get to it. All right, YouTube. So this right here is the bottom piece that goes on the part that you sit on. So the way that it works is you got these two hooks. These are gonna be in the front, and they're basically gonna hook around the bar that's up under the seat so that it keeps it sturdy and mounted right so it won't be sliding off the actual seat then you got these three clips on the back which is gonna go behind the seat and you're gonna tuck them up on the seat twist them and they'll lock them to place to the other seat so we can go ahead and get into that right now so you just gonna put them in like this you're going to tuck the sides. Well, you're going to get this strap and you're going to tuck it through here. Because that's also going to clip into place. Then, like I said, with the two clips that's at the front, you're gonna hook them on the bar up under here. See, it's all clipped, it won't move. Now, that you got the straps on each side towards the back, you're gonna clip those together. So you're gonna reach up on here. You gotta find the strap first. Let me tuck this back up. All right, y'all, so now we finna go ahead and tuck these three clips that's toward the back through the seat and lock them into place. So all you gotta do is get the little pieces, tuck it up under the seat, and reach from the back with your other hand and grab it. Boom, we got the second one down. And we got the third one. So boom, as you can see, let me let the seat back. We got this part all installed and secured. Now y'all, this is the back part that's gonna go to the back of it. 
I'm gonna show y'all the way that y'all know the difference between the passenger side and the driver side is by this hole right here. So since the hole is on this side, it's for the passenger seat, so you can use the lever to let the feet, I mean, let the seat back and forth. So this is gonna go on the passenger side. So I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all how this is gonna work also. With this one, you also have the two hooks on the bottom that's gonna hook to that bar. And you got the three little tabs that you're gonna tuck up under the seat and twist them and lock them into place. So I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all how to do that one. First, we're gonna let the seat up. We're gonna slide it over. Well, I did forget. I was supposed to take the headrest off first. I was wondering why it wasn't going. So the headrest, you're gonna take those off by pressing the two buttons. And they'll slide right on off. So we're gonna put those down here. Now we can put the actual seat covers on the back. So now we're going to get these two clips from the back. We're going to tuck them. So as y'all can see, we got it hooked into place from the up under. Now you're gonna get the little three tabs and you're gonna tuck those up under just like you did the bottom piece. And as y'all can see, we got it all on there. And what you're gonna have to do is you is gonna have to sit in the seat. Once you sit down in the seat, it'll contour a little bit more and it'll be like perfect. It won't be no air gaps or anything. So now we're gonna go ahead and put the little leather piece on the head rest. All right, y'all, so with the head rest piece, it's two Velcro straps that's gonna go up under it once you put it on to hold it into place. And with this, you're just gonna match it up. Just the longer side, so it's gonna go like this. And you're basically just gonna fit it over the whole head wrist. It is a very, very tight fit. It is a very, very tight fit, so you just gonna have to work it on there. It's gonna be a little hard, but y'all will get it on there. Trust me. Boom, we got that on there. Now you're gonna get the Velcro straps like I mentioned earlier. And I know I'm sweating. It's very hot outside. Don't talk about it. So it's gonna go in there like this. And then you're just gonna put, well first, I'm gonna have to get out. Then you're just gonna put them right back in the hole how they came. Well, actually, I'm gonna have to return the seat backwards. Yeah. 
It's not warm. All right, YouTube. So we back, and we got the next pieces, which is the parts that's gonna go right there towards the back. So with the back pieces, you just got these same clips that's on the front seats that's gonna tuck up under there. And you got the Velcro straps that's gonna strap on the Velcro behind the seat. So it's like one right here, another one right here, and there's three more up in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all how you install that back there on the back of the seat. All right, y'all, so we made it in the back seat and I'm gonna demonstrate how the Velcro strap's supposed to go. So I already got them out. They're not right where they're gonna be at, but I just put them right here so far just so it can hold the actual seat cover up. So you're just gonna work it, work his way down from the head rest. And then you're gonna tuck them like I showed y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and do this because it's not nowhere I can really put the camera. So I'm gonna show y'all the after product of this seat first and then we'll move on to the next one. All right, y'all, so as you can see, we got this one all tucked away and stuff. And it's up there pretty good. As y'all can see, it is some good quality leather and it fits almost perfectly. Now we're gonna get started on the middle piece and this piece over here. And with this one, you wanna go ahead and zip it up. You wanna go ahead and zip it up like this. And then you can go ahead and start hooking it in from the bottom and using the Velcro straps to hold it in place from the sides. So I'm gonna go ahead and let the seats down and do that. All right, so now that we got the back pieces installed on there, I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all how the bench part of the seat is gonna work. So with the bench part towards the back, you're gonna have the same thing, these clips right along here that you're gonna tuck up under the seat and twist. And you also got these straps that's gonna plug in up under it, something like this. It's gonna plug in and it's gonna keep it nice and secure. So what you'll have to do is you're gonna have to take the bottom of the seat out if you want it to fit perfectly so that you can get up under there you know, and fasten them up. So I'm not gonna do it on camera because, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and install that and then I'm gonna come back to the camera whenever I get all that buckled up and all that type of stuff. All right, YouTube, so as y'all can see, we made it back. And as y'all can see, we got the back all finished up. Here's the bottom, the bench area. Sorry for the mess on the floor. We finna clean the car in a minute since we don't got the interior looking all good. And everything did come together quite nice. I'm a, um, I'm finna get y'all some cinematic shots of how everything look from the driver's seat, the passenger seat, and to the rear seats. And without further ado, we finna go ahead and get into the cinematic shots. <laughs> 